one of the reasons that people resist the idea that we are uh, evolved creatures, that we have a human nature, is that it seems to many people to dash any hope for social improvement. The fear is that if there's such a thing as human nature, you can just uh, dismiss attempts to reduce violence, to reduce greed, to reduce discrimination by saying, oh, it's just human nature, you'll never get rid of war, because humans are inherently warlike. Uh, that leads people to say, well, there better not be any human nature or else we're going to uh, be at each other's throats for all eternity. One of the points I made in the, in the blank slate, just in passing, was um, that's a non sequitur. The, the fact that human nature exists doesn't mean that we have to behave in the same way uh, in perpetuity, because human nature is complex. <clears throat> With the, it does have some nasty bits. Uh, there is such a thing as lust and, uh, and uh, selfishness and revenge and dominance, but we also are equipped by evolution with self-control, with empathy, with reason, with moral norms, and it's a question of how the balance between those different parts of human nature plays out in a given time and place that determines how we actually behave. And I noted almost in passing that there can't really be a debate as to whether uh, human nature dooms us to a constant level of strife, because we just know looking at history that there have been beneficial changes. Slavery was abolished. The Soviet Empire collapsed with very little violence. Uh, the, and I, I noted the rate of homicide had gone down in Europe since the Middle Ages. Well, when I uh, repeated these observations in a blog post, I started to get correspondence from scholars in uh, various disciplines all over the world saying, oh, you could have added even more examples of how violence had declined. Did you know that rates of death and war have come down over the last 70 years? Did you know that violence against women has decreased? Uh, did you know that every European country saw a, a drastic drop in uh, rates of interpersonal violence? And I realized there's a big story here that very few people are aware of, that on many scales of time and magnitude, violence has been in decline over the course of history. Uh, so not being a, uh, a professional historian or political scientist, uh, I, I realized that still I was privy to all of these sources of data from different disciplines that deserve to be put in one place. So I wrote a book called The Better Angels of Our Nature, stealing the term from Abraham Lincoln. Uh, but as a psychologist, this decline of violence also posed the challenge to me of explaining how it happened. Why were so people, people so violent in the past? How did they manage to tame this violence? Two psychological questions. Once I started to be uh, open to data on the course of human history, then I started to come across other data sets showing that it wasn't just in the case of violence that we've made human life better, but um, we also live longer, we are better educated, we, more of us live in democracies, we have more leisure time. Uh, in measure after measure, if you remove yourself from the headlines and look at the data, you see vast human improvement. Poverty has been decimated worldwide. Uh, and I thought this needed a book as well, uh, extending the lesson about uh, improvement in peacefulness to improvement in other measures of human flourishing. And once again, the challenge of explaining it. We're, our human nature hasn't changed in the last uh, couple of centuries. How do we manage to improve human life? There, I think ideas matter. And one of the key ideas that, um, or sets of ideas that, I, that led to human improvement were the ideas that we associate with the Enlightenment, the uh, use of reason to figure out the world as opposed to dogma or faith or authority, the attempt to understand the physical world by applying reason to it, what we call science, the ideal of humanism, that what counts morally is uh, suffering and flourishing of sentient creatures, including humans, uh, as a, and that those ideas, when implemented, were what eked out the progress that you could see in the graphs. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.